Hi, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to unbox XFX's uh, uh, HD Radeon 6790. Uh, this is a uh, new packaging from XFX, so usually it's really just a gray, black, and white, and red uh, motif, but um, here they have a new uh, uh, packaging with, um, looks like two arrows signifying their double dissipation, double D, and I guess that means uh, dual fan and 3x direct uh, copper heat pipe so there's be three copper heat pipes that uh, have direct contact with the GPU supposedly and they are claiming it's going to be 13 decibels quieter which is quite a bit and uh, 7 degrees cooler so this uh, particular uh, graphics card does come with their lifetime warranty um, it's DirectX 11 supporting uh, four displays so it has one DVI one HDMI and two mini display ports but packaging has a lot of information on it which is a uh, uh, really different from uh, previous uh, XFX packaging I think you know they go more into detail but ah this side just all light up but let's take a look what they got yeah we'll have two security seals on here one on top and one on the bottom so I'm opening the one on top and their shoe box design because I always Call it. So, typical box from XFX. Uh, pamphlet for their uh, power supplies, their limited lifetime warranty flyer there, quick install guide, driver CD install guide if you've never done it before, and their driver disc. And the most important thing, their little door thingy. Don't throw it away, you don't, you know, because it has your part code and uh, personal activation code for activating your lifetime warranty then well oh, this is like the older style oh no accessories cheap out on that <laughs> but it's a and here we go but they got uh, uh, logoing on the bottom of the box which is odd. maybe see if they got anything else down there but it doesn't seem like they do just a uh, airspace in between it for cushioning okay no seal on the bag itself well, it looks nice so this is uh, xfx's uh, hd radeon 6790 uh, there's a, protect a protective film on here you want to take it off before you use it um, double dissipation and it does okay you might want to try you see that too zoom in on the heat pipes yeah it looks like the heat pipes do come in direct contact with the gpu so it should be quite cooler than other uh, 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 heat sinks of uh, the same caliper. So let's take a look at the back of the card. A lot of power regulation in the back there, folks. A lot of MOSFET chips uh, on, the, on a roll like that. It doesn't look like no, the, and I'm going to take a light to it. The RAM is not cooled in any way. Only the GPU. It would be really nice if they had cooled off the RAM too. That, that would be really great because then you can overclock the RAM a little bit more. Um, but this particular card needs two six-pin power connectors to it. And uh, and you can see the back, you have two uh, DVI, one HDMI supporting a 3D uh, Blu-ray playback, and two mini display ports. So this can dis uh, display or do iFrame 4, meaning when you have it set up, you need one DVI, one HDMI, and two adapters which we do have a lot of people, um, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you what we have in store for this particular setup. So let's this card was ordered for a four monitor Ifinity display, and we have a three monitor Ifinity display right here, as you can see right in front of us. Let's say you want to do four. Uh, this particular customer wants it for stocks, monitoring stocks and trading stocks. So to make it work, you need this. You need a active if you want to do three monitors you need one extra you need an active mini display port uh, adapter so it would be a single link dvi adapter and this one is particular this one is from sapphire so and i guess we should i guess i should have done a separate little thing on this but it doesn't really make sense because uh i think it goes better with the card you know to explain it with the card so why don't we take one out and uh, a lot of people uh, ask about it, they're not sure about it. 
to get optimal best best quality you would have to have in the past you would have to have an an external uh, hub and this is sapphire bags these very nicely I'm just, so here's what you have you have me mini, uh, mini uh, display port 2 DVI now let's say we wanted to do the Ifinity setup here and let's say you just want to do three screens okay you would connect your um, uh, DVI HDMI and for your third screen if you don't have a native uh, display port screen you would do this you connect new display and then you can hook up uh, two DVI and one HDMI uh, monitors up together for Ifinity 3. Now, this particular uh, customer wants four, so of course we'll have two here, one here, one here. We have four uh, screens up in uh, and Ifinity. So, thanks for watching. Any uh, questions or comments, place them at the bottom of the video.